Let's begin by reading today's passage. It is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Let's read all together. Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This represents my life. And who is in control of my life? Yes. But you have to remember, remember that it was not always like this. Before, who was the master of our life? From Genesis 3, Satan became the master of our life. We lost hold of God's covenant and we became separated from him. But we all know God loves us, so he sent Jesus Christ to die for us so that when we believe in him, we can what? Be with him again. So how do I know? We say a lot, God loves me, Jesus loves me. How do I know that? How do I know? Because I know Jesus Christ and what he has done for me. <clears throat> this is what we call the grace of God. We didn't do anything to earn it. But because God loves us, He died for us so that we can be saved. So, because of this, we can be thankful for our yesterday. What is our yesterday? It's every day until today. This is our past. And what did God save us from? What did Christ save us from? Me-centered life, material-centered life, worldly-centered life, and success-centered life. If we chase after, if we follow these things, this will bring us destruction. So God saved us from this. He, when we have faith in God, when we say, I believe in Jesus, I have already received success in life. Not the worldly success, but it is the success from our faith. Success that we have God who is with us. So, who, we are not in this life anymore. It is Christ who is with me. Right? And what do we call this? This is Emmanuel. This is why we give thanks to God. Thank you, God, because you are with me. Yesterday, he gave me this through his grace. Today, he gave me this through his grace and also tomorrow. So, today and in your life, you face problems, right? Difficulties. I want you to express this in three ways, can everybody give me the big smile? Everybody, big smile. Sometimes you are so happy, right? Maybe your parents bought you a gift and you're oh, so happy, right? But sometimes, everybody, can you give me a sad face? Sometimes you're sad, sometimes you cry. Maybe because something bad happened in your life. But then, other times, oh, it broke. That's how angry you might be. Sometimes you are angry. Give me an angry face. Mm. Why are you angry? Because your parents didn't let you do something that you wanted to do. Oh, 
please let me do this. I want to go out with my friends. He's like, no, you cannot. Like, right? <clears throat> homework, homework. Teacher give you a lot of homework, so you're angry. Like, ah, again, more homework. So you go back and forth like this. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad, sometimes you're angry, right? This is, sometimes we have problems, sometimes we don't, and these things always change. But what does not change ever? God is with me, even today, even yesterday, and even, finally, tomorrow. Sorry, I missed out this. Tomorrow, God is going to be with you again as well. Your situation could be different. You can be happy. You could be sad tomorrow. You could be angry tomorrow. But God is still with you. This is the most important thing that all remnants need to remember as a child of God. Why? Because your problems... It's going to be gone over time. One day, it's going to be gone. It's going to pass over. But who is always with you? God is with me. This is my life answer. This is the answer to all of my problems. So when you have homework and you don't want to do it and you're angry, that's okay. That can happen. But always remember, God is with me. Even as I have this lot of homework to do and I am angry, God is still with me. Even if I'm sad, God is with me. This is what is absolute. What is absolute? It never changes. It is always the same. It is always true. So maybe this is why we give thanksgiving to God. Because he never changes. And that includes God's love for me. That includes Christ being with me. That includes God's promises and God's plan for your life. So always confess this. Always remember, I am a child of God. Why? Because God is with me. I am one who has success, not because of the world, but because I have the gospel. I am a gospel success. Uh, as you uh, confirm this in your life, I pray that all of you will be the remnants who can really save your friends and your families through this one thing, through the gospel and through Christ. Let's pray. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for giving us your grace and thank you for the cross thank you for giving us jesus christ by our faith we became children of god may our remnants always remember and always give you thanks by confessing i am a child of god and you are always with me may they enjoy this every single day and we pray in jesus christ's name amen, amen.